What's up guys, this episode we're going to be combining action mailbox and action text to take HTML emails and keep their formatting and store them with action text, including the uploaded attachments in that email and the ones that are inline embedded into your email. So anytime you have inline images, we're going to be handling those and uploading them to active storage and replacing that HTML content and creating our uh, action text record for that. So this is going to be a deep dive into both action mailbox and action text. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to need some app to create. So we're going to create one using Jumpstart's free template. Um, and then we're going to just call this like HTML email blog. You can imagine that you could send an email to your Rails app and then it will convert that email into a blog post. That's going to be what we're going to try and create today. So once this is done, we can go ahead and install active storage, action text, and action mailbox. So now that our Rails app is created, we need to CD into that directory and we're going to run Rails action text install and rails action mailbox install to get both of those installed in their migrations and all of that. So then once this is done, we're also going to create whatever model we want for our application. In this case, because we're doing like HTML emails creating blog posts, let's just create a post model with a title and a body. And then that way we can keep track of that very simply. Um, and we won't worry too much about the routing that we covered in the last episode. So take a look at that if you want to learn how to parse out senders and find the correct user from your email that comes in. So let's generate a scaffold for say a post model with titles and a body which will be rich text. And this will go ahead and create the active or the action text body uh, relationship for us. 